Hey everyone, I'm Wangle Warrior, aka Julie, and welcome back to my channel. If anyone's new, ignore the noise and <laughs> welcome. Wago stands for when you get old. I am 55 years old, but love and enjoy makeup, skincare, doing product reviews, beauty hauls, and unboxing videos. If you've stopped by because you're curious what products you received in Ipsy bags look like on your face, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. All right, there goes another one. So I was thinking, what can I do for a video? I wanted to do an eye look try on. Um, I needed to put my makeup on to film another video. And I thought, you know what? Some of the products I wanted to try came from some recent Ipsy Glam Bag Plus bags. And then I thought, what if I put together an entire face full of products I've received in an Ipsy bag? Some are from the Glam Bag X, but the majority are from the Glam Bag Plus. So that's what's going on today. Grab a drink, a snack, what have you. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. All right, so let's start with the first thing you do when you put on makeup, or at least most people do, and that's with a primer. This here is from Illa Masqua, and I received it in the September 2020, so we're going back a ways, of Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and this is the Hydroveil Brightening Gel Primer. This is what the packaging looks like. Oh, how cute. It comes with a little spoon and it has a little hinge where you lift up and it is very, very gel like. All right. Should we use the spoon or right, normally I, I'm just plop my finger on in. Oh, it feels. Have you ever gotten one of those rotisserie chickens from Costco and it has some gelatinous kind of goop around the bottom of the pan? That's what this reminds me of. It has a very, very soft, subtle, barely there, maybe floral scent. I don't know. Doesn't smell bad. I'm just gonna slather this on my face. It's a little, just barely tacky. I'm gonna let it sink in and then I'm gonna move along and apply foundation. The foundation I'll be using today is actually from the oldest box in this video, which is from February, 2020. Yes, pre-COVID. Um, this here is from Wander Beauty and it's the Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This foundation is pretty nice. I love the applicator. It's a squeezy tube. However, it comes with a big doe foot, very lazy girl approved and easy to apply. Now, what I don't care about this foundation is the price tag. This retails for $40, which for me is quite pricey. Um, that we're talking like Charlotte Tilbury price point. And honestly, I would rather get a, if I'm going to spend $40, I want it to be a bougie brand that I'm well aware of. Wonder Beauty, I only know of because of BoxyCharm and Ipsy. All right, so this is in the shade Fair. I haven't used it in quite some time, so I have no idea if I put way too much on. Let me start bouncing it around and getting it into my skin before I have regrets on uh, how much I applied. So, perfect match? No, but pretty close. Um, when I first started using it, I felt it was a little too dark and a little too yellowy undertones, but when it's blended out and I get the rest of my makeup on, it works perfectly fine. The next item I'm going to put on, which I should have put on first, is from Context, and it's a nude lip balm. This is in the shade all or nothing. And I received this in the January 2022 Glam Bag Plus. It was a duo. This is what the shade looks like. It's very comfortable and for a lip balm is pigmented. Not lipstick pigmented, but most lip balms don't have this much pigment, which I enjoy. All right, now on to concealer. This one I'm super excited. It's from Huda Beauty, and it is the Overachiever Concealer in the shade Marshmallow. I received this in the 
November Glam Bag X. And it has one of the, it's a squeezy tube, but the applicator is one of these metal tips and it's very cooling and nice for under the eyes. The only bad thing about this, not, nothing specific with Huda, but with this type of applicator with a squeezy tube, you gotta be careful because if you squeeze as you're closing it, extra will plop out and it's a waste of product. All right, I hadn't used this since when the, I first filmed the video. It feels a little drying, but it also could be because I'm filming at like 4.30 in the afternoon and my eye cream went on this morning at about 9 a.m. So we're looking a little dry under there. Don't quite know if it's the product or just late in the day. I probably should have moisturized before I put that on. But on to the next product and we have choices. So I couldn't decide and I thought, okay, when I film, I will do swatches. This is the bronzer options. We have Shades by Shan, and this was received in the December 2021 Glam Bag Plus, and this retails for $18 and is in the shade Latte. The other option is from Real Her, and this was in the January 2022 Glam Bag Plus. This is in the shade You Are Golden, and this retails for $30. Here are the shades. One is a lot softer, one is darker and looks way more orangey. Let's do some swatches. Interesting. The one that looks darker on my hand is from Shades by Shan, which in the pan looked lighter. And the one in the pan that looked darker looks lighter on my hand. This is the one from Real Her. Um, and actually this one seems to have more of an orange. I think I'm gonna try the one from Shades by Shan. And I'm gonna use a new brush I got in the Hank and Henry mystery bag. If you missed that, check out the unboxing video. I like it. Not too orangey. And just so you know, A, I'm not an MUA if you haven't figured that out by now. I tend to bronze or use bronzer as if it were contour. Because I have bangs and short hair, I don't obviously need to go up on the top and it's more contouring, less bronzer, but it does warm up my face. Let me know, does anyone else do the same or am I just cuckoo cray cray? All right, now on to blush. So this here, try not to blind you, is a recent add-on purchase, which I picked up in my March 2022 Glam Bag Plus. It's from a brand called Myel, and it's the Sun Kissed Blush Palette. Wait till you see it. It is gorgeous. I targeted these three pans right there. There is a nice little shimmer, assuming you like a shimmer, and I can't tell if they're all shimmery or if only some of them are. I think only some of them are. Um, but I do not mind. The only problem with palettes like this where there's multiple where you swish and swirl is I swished and swirled slightly differently and got a little heavier hand and darker on this side and I'm trying to match the other side and I'll probably be here for 10 minutes. I'm going to take that big fluffy brush I use for bronzing and just kind of Swirl it all around. Another trick if you go a little ham is take the sponge you use for foundation and just pounce it over top. It will help out. We'll make it work. Okay, on to highlighter. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to use this product here from Illamasqua, which I received in the October 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is in the shade OMG, and it's the Beyond Liquid Highlighter. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a squeezy tube, and you just kind of squeeze out the amount you need, which is the tiniest amount. That's probably way too much. Let me do a swatch and whatever remains on my finger, I will put on my cheeks. Blingy. 
All right, let's set down all of these powder products using this here from Morphe, the continuous setting spray. In my notes and prep for this video, I forgot to write it down. I want to say it was the December Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I don't know, something will be on screen to correct me. This, I want to say retails for $16. It's such a good setting spray. All right, let's move along to eyeliner. This here is from a brand called Locket, and it's a waterproof pencil eyeliner. I picked this up as an add-on in the March 22 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. There is a swatch. Um, I didn't press super hard, but it didn't seem to be super dark. But what I'm most curious about is how it will bode in my waterline. I'm gonna put it on the top and I'm gonna blink a few times and let's see if it transfers down to the bottom waterline. Yeah, she's transferring. Does not surprise me. I have yet to find one that doesn't transfer. All right, who am I with this next product? This here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this here is a clear brow gel. I received this in the February 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag X, which was curated by Addison Ray. Now this is all I do for my brows. I just take a spoolie and literally that's it. Um, and normally I don't even wear any brow products. I don't know. I'm either delusional or I feel I'm blessed with good brow shape, size, amount of hair. I don't know. Or I'm just lazy. But this is what the product looks like. It's just like a mascara, and all I do after I do the spoolie is I come in and I just barely touch them. Done. Now, I am not a brow product expert at all, but I do watch a ton of other uh, people's videos, and I can report this gel is not crunchy, which I hear is a bad thing. So yay to this product being good, or <laughs> it's the only product I've ever used, but I it, I like it. All right, let's move along to eyeshadow. This palette here is from a brand called Carmella Cosmetics, and it's the Defiance palette. And I received this in the most recent Ipsy Glam Bag Plus from March. It has eight shadows with a mix of matte and shimmers. And it's your basic everyday neutrals palette, which is right up my alley. eyeshadow on after their face products and then take a wipe and clean up the edges no do I do that mm hmm thank goodness for sponges with leftover foundation and concealer all right let me put some eyeliner on now this here is a liquid eyeliner from dragon beauty and I received this in the December 2021 
Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is what the packaging looks like. Has a nice roller ball. Get a very fine line. Don't quote me, but I believe this is a brush tip. I don't know if you prefer that, hate that. It, to me, a liquid liner is a liquid liner. I don't care or think I care. I don't know, let's just get it on the eyes. That was nice. Was it super dark? No, but I kind of like it. This would be very good for every day if I ever have to go back into the office. I like it. it if you like a fine, thin, not too bulky, thick um, liquid liner up top, this one would be good. All right, you still with me? I'm almost done. All right, on to the lips. We have a bullet lipstick from Lauren Conrad. This is in the shade Shell. And I received this in the January 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I probably should have used a lip liner, but I didn't want to dig one up. I'm sure at some point in time I got something from Ipsy, but this is as good as it's going to get. So if you've been following me, you know I love to layer lip products and I love a good lip gloss. This here is from Pat McGrath, and I received it in the February Ipsy Glam Bag X, curated by Addison Ray. It has an interesting doe fit. It's kind of curved up. Uh, I like it because it actually pulls and keeps a lot of product. It smells really sweet like cake batter. This shade is perfection for that lipstick. They really go well together. Let me do swatches. This is what they look like. Look at the swatches. They are almost identical. Here is the bullet lipstick from Lauren Conrad, and here's the lip gloss from Pat McGrath. Perfection. Okay, so here is the final look. Is it my best? <laughs> no, but here you can see if you subscribe to a beauty subscription box in this instance we're talking ipsy you can over a period of time get enough products to put a full face of makeup on actually if it wasn't for the foundation this could have gone maybe six months worth of boxes um, but because the foundation isn't something we get very frequently in any subscription box let alone ipsy i did have to go back a couple years but if you exclude that if you're trying to beef up your makeup collection, a beauty subscription is a good way. Otherwise, wait for sales. Um, holidays are great, so around 4th of July, Memorial Day weekend's coming up, Easter, spring, after Christmas. There are so many good sales, but wait for the sales because 30% off, 40, sometimes 50% off, can't beat that. All right, let me know. What are your thoughts? Okay, I am so glad that you stopped by. Thank you so much. This is a new concept. Let me know. Like it? Stupid, dumb waste of time. I'm open. <laughs> Let me know. Because if you like it, maybe I'll try to do it for BoxyCharm. Uh, there's no way in hell I can do it for Allure. We just don't get enough makeup. And definitely we don't get any foundations. Um, but yes, so similar to an all-brand look i would thought well let's try a beauty subscription box all right i want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by i really do appreciate it if you haven't done so by now i would love if you would subscribe for those who have thank you so much remember to click the bell icon so you're notified of future videos and if you could do me a huge favor and click that thumbs up it really does help my channel to grow all right thanks everyone